Imagine an engine that can run on gasoline, hydrogen, and even cooking oil. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, buckle up because Toyota's about to turn that fantasy into reality. In a world racing towards electric vehicles, Toyota's throwing a curveball. They've developed an internal combustion engine that's not just surviving, it's evolving. It's a shape-shifting powerhouse that could rewrite the rules of the game. But here's the million-dollar question. Is this the technology that will save the internal combustion engine? Let's find out. Toyota's new engine isn't just flexible. It's a mechanical chameleon. It can run on gasoline, synthetic e-fuels, biodiesel, and even hydrogen. That's right. The same stuff that powers rockets could be under your hood. This isn't some far-off pipe dream. Toyota's been putting this tech through its paces in the crucible of motorsport. Remember the hydrogen-powered GR Corolla that tore up the racetrack? That was the testing ground for this new engine. But here's where it gets really interesting. This engine isn't just more versatile. It's smaller and more efficient too. We're talking 10 to 20% smaller than current engines with improved thermal efficiency. In plain English, better fuel economy and more power. Now, you might be thinking, sure, but what about the environment? Well, that's where Toyota's multi-pathway approach comes in. They're not putting all their eggs in one basket. Instead, they're developing a range of technologies to tackle carbon emissions. This multi-fuel engine is just one piece of that puzzle. Let's break down how this engine works. The key is in its ability to handle different types of fuel. Each fuel burns differently, with varying speeds and temperatures. Hydrogen, for example, burns faster and hotter than gasoline. Toyota's engineers had to figure out how to balance these differences to maintain optimal thermal efficiency. The secret sauce? It's all about precise control. The engine uses advanced sensors and computer systems to adjust its operation based on the fuel being used. This means it can optimize combustion, timing, and other factors in real time, squeezing out every last drop of efficiency no matter what's in the tank. But Toyota isn't stopping at just making a better engine. They're thinking bigger. Imagine this engine as part of a hybrid drivetrain. You've got the flexibility of multiple fuels, plus electric motors to fill in the power gaps. It's like having a Swiss army knife under the hood. Here's how it might work in practice. In urban areas, where short trips are common, the electric motor could handle most of the driving. But for longer journeys, or in areas where charging infrastructure is limited, the multi-fuel engine kicks in. Need to cross a desert? Fill up with gasoline. Driving through an area with hydrogen stations? Switch to hydrogen. It's all about flexibility and adapting to different situations. This isn't just about keeping the internal combustion engine on life support. It's about evolution. Toyota's betting that in some parts of the world, full electrification isn't going to be practical anytime soon. This engine could be the bridge between the gas-guzzling past and the electric future. Let's talk numbers for a second. Toyota's developed both a 1.5-liter engine, available in turbo and naturally aspirated configurations, and a 2.0-liter turbocharged version. These engines have shorter strokes, which means less torque. But remember, they're designed to work with electric motors in a hybrid system. The electric motors will provide that instant torque we all love, while the internal combustion engine provides sustained power for longer drives. One trade-off? These engines might have lower red lines. For the gearheads out there, that might sound like a downside. But Toyota's betting that the overall performance and efficiency gains will more than make up for it. Now, let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Toyota isn't going it alone. They've joined forces with Mazda and Subaru in a Japanese automaker dream team. Each company is bringing its A-game to the table. Subaru? They're all about that boxer engine life. These flat engines have been Subaru's calling card for years, known for their low center of gravity and smooth operation. Now, they're working on adapting this design to work with carbon-neutral fuels. Mazda. They're keeping the rotary dream alive. The rotary engine, with its unique design, has always been a favorite among enthusiasts for its smooth, high-revving nature. Mazda's not just preserving this technology, they're reinventing it. They're looking at using rotary engines as range extenders in electric vehicles, creating a new role for this iconic power plant. And Toyota? They're perfecting the inline-four. It's the workhorse of the automotive world, 
and Toyota's making it ready for the future. But here's the kicker. They're all developing these engines with carbon neutral fuels in mind. We're talking about biofuels, hydrogen, and the works. This collaboration isn't just about sharing notes. It's about securing a future for the internal combustion engine. These companies are betting that there's still life in the old dog yet, especially when you pair it with hybrid or plug-in hybrid technology. But let's not forget the elephant in the room, regulations. The automotive world is facing increasingly strict emission standards, like the upcoming Euro 7 regulations. These new engines aren't just about performance and flexibility. They're designed to meet these tough new standards head on. How? It's all about reducing emissions at the source. By optimizing combustion and allowing for the use of carbon neutral fuels, these engines can significantly reduce their carbon footprint. When you combine that with hybrid technology, you're looking at a powertrain that can compete with electric vehicles in terms of emissions, at least on a well-to-wheel basis. But let's zoom out for a second. What does all this mean for the future of cars? Are we looking at the last gasp of the internal combustion engine, or is this the beginning of a new chapter? On one side, you've got the unstoppable tide of electrification. Major markets like the European Union and California are pushing for a full transition to electric vehicles. On the other hand, you've got vast swathes of the world where the infrastructure for full electrification just isn't there yet. Toyota's multi-fuel engine is trying to thread the needle between these two forces. It's not just about saving the internal combustion engine, it's about giving us options. Maybe the future isn't just electric. Maybe it's a mix of technologies, each suited to different needs in different parts of the world. Think about it. In dense urban areas with good charging infrastructure, pure electric vehicles make a lot of sense. But what about rural areas? Or developing countries where the electrical grid might not be up to the task of supporting widespread electric vehicle adoption? That's where these advanced, multi-fuel engines could shine. And let's not forget about the potential for carbon-neutral fuels. If we can develop these fuels at scale, it could dramatically reduce the carbon footprint of the existing vehicle fleet. It's not just about new cars. It's about finding ways to make the cars already on the road more environmentally friendly. So, where does this leave us? We're at a crossroads in automotive history. Electric vehicles are charging ahead, but innovations like Toyota's multi-fuel engine show that the internal combustion engine isn't going down without a fight. The question is, which path will we choose? Or will we forge a new one that combines the best of both worlds? One thing's for sure, the race to the future of transportation is far from over. And with innovations like this, it's anyone's game. So, what do you think? Does the internal combustion engine have a future in a world pushing for electrification? Or is this just delaying the inevitable? Let me know in the comments below.